Hello folks and welcome to Creative Caregiving. I'm your host Peggy Embert. This video is sponsored by Atlantic Center for the Arts and United Way. Researching ideas for this series has been very interesting to say the least. The grandchildren have had so many ideas such as, hey, let's teach Abba how to make a volcano. Or to, let's see, oh Grammy, please, no baby projects. Then there's dad, he's always coming up with ideas on how we should proceed. This is how life is in a multi-generation household. We all have our needs and our opinions. Blending them all together is generally the job of the caregiver, and that's been my job. Currently, I've been tackling a new challenge. During the school years, the kids have days off when the school is closed to students, while the teachers are working on their professional development. This can be a dilemma for parents. Child care is so expensive these days. Taking off of work isn't an option for many parents, and this is when grandparents can be a huge asset. And coming to Grammy's house should be fun for everyone. In this episode, we will show you how to achieve it with an easy craft project. Our craft today is making fish out of old CDs. It's an upcycle project using bits of craft items from around the house. I've been teaching Lane and Nolan how to recycle things we don't use anymore by creating cool crafts out of them. The goal is to engage everyone and let's have some fun. You will need the following supplies. A copy of the poem, a few sheets of colored paper that you can draw on for fins and tails and whatever your fish will need some old CDs, some glue, pencil, scissors, little bits of craft item and stickers. Another option is you could use some permanent colored markers and just draw your own designs. So with that and our fish ready to go, let's get started. Abba, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. How are you and Lane doing? Good. Good. Very good. Hey, Abba, we're going to be making CD fish. Oh, that is. That's a, that's a, that's a CD, but and it, you it can is color. a fish. It's been turned into a fish. Yeah. Wow. You can take one of the any colors you want and draw on the CD. Mm -hmm. and then a stack of CDs are right there. A stack of CDs yeah. are right here. And here's like decorations you can put on them, like gems and like yarn. yarn. Oh, wow. And like puff balls and buttons okay. and. Oh, shells. look at those buttons, yeah. And All those things to make fish. Wow. Fake flowers, mm -hmm. little feathers, and like. These shimmery things. I love the sparkles. And all the what you can do is you can put, we can glue a magnet, a magnet on the back of your CD. Ooh, and you then could. it can stick to your fridge. Or what you can do is um, take this fishing line and put it on the back and then it can hang. Dang it. Oh, you know what we could good. do? What might be fun? We could make Christmas ornaments out of these, couldn't True. we? Yeah, I mm. like that idea. So, Lane, what do you want us to do first? I'll take a CD and Abba, and what do you want us to do first? First, what you do is p you can pick out the color. Should we start with the Sharpies, maybe? The colored markers? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, I love Everybody? red. Can yeah. I start with red? Yeah. Okay. Abba, what color do you want? Oh, I don't know. Maybe 
green. Green. This green. Now, are you, do you color it all in or draw pictures or? Well, see what Grammy did, how she drew like this stuff? You can draw designs like that. Oh, she made those designs? I don't know if I'm any good at designs. I bet you are. Uh, yeah. Or you could just scribble if you want. The other thing I like to do you is... make use? Oh, use. Very good. Lane, I like polka dots. I don't know what uh -huh. I'm doing. Oh, okay. You're just filling it in, huh? Dad, do you like polka dots? Yeah, but my use are... They're all different. That's okay. All fish are different. All the fins and their um, little... Uh, Oh, what are those little things on their sides there? Uh, yeah, no. th th not the fins, the They're scales. The little scales, scales. yeah. I was going to say wings. Yeah, me too. Oh, I like what you did, Dad. Look at what he's doing, Lane. Oh, boy, he's made I'm like glad somebody does. Yeah. I don't know what to make of it. Okay. You want another color? I think yeah, I need another color. Up. Yeah. What color do you want? You want to try blue? Sure. Blue All and right. Green. Blue and green go good. Yeah. yeah. What does blue and green remind you of? I don't know. The ocean? Yeah, that and I know there's something else, but I can't remember it. Oh, okay. You get that feeling of aqua. Yeah, you kind of do. Yeah. Wow, you guys are doing a great job. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. I kind of cheated. I just did big big things. I like making circles and straight lines and, you that's know. What, well, that's I what you like. Yeah. fish could really look like that. Oh, I well, love it. Well, any fish look like anything. Are we ready for the fins and other things, Lane? Maybe. Okay, I'm ready. All you right. ready, Abba? Uh, well, I'm getting ready, but I'm doing some artistic work here. I think I am. Look at these colors, Dad. So, Alba, what um, color paper do you want? Oh, wow. It's green. Yeah, I like the, the green. Orange. I like the green. Yellow. That's going to be for your fins Yellow. and your eyeballs and your lips. Okay, you like the green? Oh, yeah. Grammy, look for Oh, okay, yeah. cool, yeah. Oh. You to well, you know what, Lane? I, w I had some extra time last night, and I pre-cut out some that I uh, cut from the paper in advance. But you know what? Let me ask you. Could my fish have a different colored tail and different colored fins? Yeah. Could I shake it up like that? Yeah. Okay. Now, Abba, what about you? Well. He can have that one. That's close enough. If you'll show him how he can glue it on. It, I don't know how to glue it on. <laughs> okay. Well, let's Wait. all, let's turn it over to the back side. Oh, Everybody. You glue, you glue, glue Yeah. The and then you're going to take your tail and this you're going to glue it down. Elmer's glue. Yeah. You can do anything with Elmer's glue. Of course you can. As long as we got Elmer's glue, we're going to be all right. All right. Can you yeah. put some glue on Abbas for him? And then he can take Maybe his a tail. Bit there and, you want uh, this color? Yeah, and then that, right, that's what we need. There we go. Very good. Job. good. I'll make sure it pushes down good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And now what we're going to put our bottom tail, which is kind of big. Is this it? Sure. It's a yeah. different color, but why not? Does it go like that? Mm-hmm, just like this. Okay, Abba, what color do you want? Oh, let's see. He's yeah. got purple here oh, he yeah. can use. Yeah, I can stay with purple. I okay. Think. I'll help you in just a minute. Okay, you want this right yeah, here? Yeah, I want that right okay. about you there. You lift it up, and I'll put the glue down. Yeah, that's good. Okay, oh, you can yeah. put the... Now you All can right. Press it down. Very good. Excellent job. Okay. And then he needs his little fin on top. Where's my little fin? 
to here? Sure. Or would you like to use the yellow? Does it go right here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you like it? Here. Oh, look at him. Little He's little. already figuring it out. Well, it goes like that. Yeah. I can't wait to turn it over and see what it looks like. Yeah, I think they're going to be really cool. Wait, I never made a fish. Well, and especially out of an old CD. Now, don't forget to put your lips on, guys. And those are in that heart shape. Do you want a teal lips? Um, or Pink? I don't think there's Oh, I yeah. want my fish to have... Yellow? <gasps> Rosy what? red. Red, 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 red lips? No, we don't have any red, red lips well, for our fish. Well, what you could do is you could take the blue one and then color it. Right. Well, or I could use my trusty scissors real quick and make one for him. Easy peasy. Make because, you know, one. lips are just a heart. How about that? Just a bow. Yeah, I'm gonna glue and my that's the reason and why I drew everything out here. Oh, the tail, cool. and the eyes, and the lips, and the fins. And you okay. can mix and match them. I see, you just... And that is going to look like lips, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And then yeah. gently, right. we're going to turn it over. Okay, gently yeah. turn yours over. Yeah. Oh, wow! I now, fish. yeah, I've got some eyes here, just some plain round circles. And we can add soup. Yeah. So let Abba pick out his eyes. Which oh, one I does he one want? For a fish. Oh, there's yellow. Can you make me an eye? Well, let me see. Out of what color? That color. Sure. Here you go. Do they? How many yep. eyes does it? You fish only need have? one, one and size, you're just gonna yeah. glue it right above your lips. So a little dot of glue. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. You want me to squeeze the glue yeah, or do you want you? Right about there. Right here. This is coming along really nicely. Press it down. Yeah. Perfect. Donna. Yeah. Now I'm going to do a little eyeball on mine. I've got a black marker here. Can but I you use can. One of these? Sure. Okay. Now do you want to use any of these decorations? Oh, Abba, can you see any of these that you might like to pick out? And all you have to do is just put dots of glue. Oh, and then put one of those. Yeah, here. and a sparkle or a feather, oh. whatever seems fun to you. Oh, I find. Oh, I found a bunch of things here. Yeah. Where do you want to go? Oh. Put, you have a googly with, eye. You can put the googly eye. Oh, how eye. cute. Oh, that'll make a googly eye. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that? Won't that Let's be do special? That. Yeah, do you want it right there or right in the middle? Maybe in the middle. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Perfect. Yeah, that's all right. Do you... Here, I'll put little dots... You yeah, you put, you put some drops and I'll... Here's some buttons. I'll decide what to put in them. Very good. Now on this one, I put all these feathers on the tail, which made it kind of fun. If our viewers wanted to go real elaborate, Do they you could. you put some on this Or side? just simple. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we want them all kinds of places. Lane, could you hand me that one over there? The one that's just... Got the sharpie. Oh, thank you. This is another option. If you don't have all the wonderful supplies that we have, you, you can, can just, just color. Yeah, exactly. You can just color. And also, we found in our craft room. And if you want, you just, just some simple little the... stickers. Oh. And you can pick these up anywhere at the craft store or the dollar store. And especially if you were working with younger children and your um, loved ones. You could just let the little ones help you put stickers all over them, couldn't you, Lane? Yes. Do you think little Caroline could do this? She could if she had help. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty sure she would like to throw the stickers on. Oh, stickers would be what she wanted to do, right? Yep. And then you would simply cut out the little shapes that you freehand draw on your colored paper on this one. I even wrote some of the names of what 
each item is. You're just going to need some a tail, a couple of fins, some lips. The best way to make lips is just a heart, right, Lane? Yep. It's just so easy that way. That heart worked out good. Huh? Yeah, it really did, didn't it? I couldn't have believed how well that made lip, lips. I know. It's amazing mm. how you can, what you can make when you start getting crafty and you don't worry about, oh, it's not going to be perfect or I don't have the right supplies, right? Oh, yeah. I'm beyond worrying. I uh, gave up on that. You did? No, no more worrying for me. I just do anything. That's great. That's great. Well, and a lot of this stuff you can find real easily. And it even comes in little packages at the dollar store or at, you know, your uh, local craft store. It doesn't matter. These, I just pulled off an old floral arrangement. That's the fun part of recycling. Don't worry about going out and buying everything all brand new. Look around the house and see what you've yeah, got. Oh, I know. A scale, like a shell. Mm. Like a, a scale. You want it right here, right? Yeah. So I'll tell you, these two, they're knocking it out of the park. I think you two found the, the perfect uh, project, didn't you? Yep. Well, I think one thing, my fish is different. It's gorgeous. Yeah. I think different. Different? Yeah. Different's okay. a good thing. Very different. You're right, Lane. Different I've never seen a fish like that. <laughs> I can't say that I am. Well, just, Dad, just think about how much fun. You know that little Christmas tree you keep by your front door? Yeah. And you decorate it for all the holidays? Oh, I, I'll put this tree, this oh, fish yeah. on it. Yeah. How about if we give you ours, too? Well, and I'll, you put, can, I'll put them all yeah. on. Wouldn't yeah. Wouldn't that be fun? I decorate for every different... Uh, Holiday. I know you do. St. Patrick's Day what? is coming right now on uh, Valentine's Day. Yeah, Lane had a good idea. She said we could even make a little fake fishing line and tie it on, and it would look like somebody caught a fish. Oh, that'd be good. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. you know what else we could do? We could probably even go to the toy store and buy some little fishing poles that little kids play with. What do you think about that? That would be fun. Yeah, we could put the fishing poles right there in the tree. Guess what? <gasps> Look at him. He uses my, scissors. Well, listen to okay, this. Tell my, me. My fish got tangled up in some seaweed. Oh! And look at that. <laughs> See that? Okay. Some seaweed got on it. I love it. That's perfect. I'm making the fishing. Oh, dang it. I lost. Okay, there's yeah. a string. <laughs> My fish got tangled in seaweed. It's like the big fish I caught yesterday. You did? Uh-huh. Where Where did you catch that fish? Um. Who were you with? My dad and my mom. Oh. Have you ever caught a fish before? Yeah. Yeah? You're pretty good at it? Yeah. Well, let's see. You're good at fishing, and I'm you're good, good at, at crafts. Crafts, exactly. Mm. And I'm exactly. good at spending money. Oh, good at spending money. I like that. Spending? <laughs> what about saving money? Do you Would ever do it, that? Would this look like a hook? It could. Like it that? could. Absolutely. I could make this a hook. Oh, I like that. It's a little moon shape. And then there's a hole and I just have to tie it. Well, look at Abba. He is going to town. Yeah, my fingers are glued. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. Yeah, Crafting yeah. is fun. But you know, when you don't have school yes. and you come over here, this is something that we can all do at different times. Maybe we won't use CDs the next time. What else could we do with just sparklies and things like that? Well, you could um, make like a little like... That's hard to fix. We could cut out different shapes. Or you could make like a little seawall out of all these, mm -hmm. like a little seawall or an ocean, and then we could put our fish in there. I love it. Where did I put my string? Okay. Well, normally you, you would put string? your string right through the middle. But you know what? It's a I, fishing hook. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you could. Oh, oh, there it is. I see. I see what you did. That's very cool. You got a little hook 
right on the lips with some fishing line attached. Oh, that fish got caught. Yes, he did. All right. All right, real quick. What are you going to name your fish? Is your fish going to have a name? Um, I'll name it something. I could name it Fishy. Fishy? What about you, Dad? Oh, I'm going to have fish called Wanda. Oh, <laughs> just like the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think mine looks like that. Yeah. If I put this feather over the hole and mm -hmm. stuff, and I put like one of these on. Right. I could glue. Wait, is this harder? Yeah. No. Yeah. I could glue this, and then I could put one of these magnets on this and glue it on. Right. And then I could stick it to my the, our fridge. Yeah. yeah. You could always make refrigerator magnets out of these, oh. and that would be easy. And you know, Dad, they sell these at the craft store. And they're very inexpensive. Little magnets? Yeah, yeah, they're just little magnets and they take glue, wow. which is turns out really perfect. Well, guys, I think this has turned out to be a wow. really fun project. We're going to take a little break, and I have another fun activity we're going to do. Ooh, fun! You know what, guys? We've been sitting for a little while. So how about if we move around? Do you want to stretch your back out a little bit, Lane? Yeah. You want to bend over? Because I noticed you were hunching backwards. What about you, Dad? Move those shoulders around? Well, I... Yeah. Yeah. I, like I mean, crafting is fun, but sometimes we just stand too long and we get too preoccupied. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Great job. Well... I had a little uh, little project for us to do before we started, but you two just hit it off so great and started crafting immediately. I thought we could do it later. Are you all familiar with poetry? No. Poetry? Yeah. Well, yeah. funny little rhyme, uh -huh. but I don't know about poetry. Okay. Well, this is a famous poem, and I have a feeling you're going to remember it, Dad. It's called... Uh, the arrow and the song, but it's a, I shot an arrow in the air. Does that ring familiar to yeah, you? Yeah, an arrow in the air, that sounds familiar. Okay, and it's written by a man named Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Oh, Lane, wow. this is all new to you. So I'm going to read two lines of it first. Can I read some? Sure. I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. I knew not where. I breathed a song into the air. It fell to earth. I knew not where. Do you remember that a little bit? Oh, very familiar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Well, this is a fun thing to do about poetry. A lot of people get bored with poetry, but what if we did it this way? I'm going to say the first line and you're going to repeat it okay. right after me. Are you ready? Now, You've got to do it the same way I do it. Okay. All right. Okay. I shot an arrow into the air. I shot an arrow into the air. What about you? I shot an arrow into the air. And where it fell to the earth, I know not where. It... Wait. <laughs> it started here, right? Yep. It... it Fell, fell to, to the, the earth, earth, I knew not, not where. where. Ready? <clears throat> it fell to the earth, I do not know where. All right. I breathed a song into the air. I breathed a song into the air. I breathed a song into the air. It fell to the earth, <gasps> I know not where. It fell to the earth. I knew not where. <laughs> Your turn. It fell to the earth. I know, I know not where. <laughs> this is a silly way to do poetry, isn't it? Yeah. Lane, would you like to think of a new voice or do you want me to do another voice? I'm thinking. All right, you be thinking and I'll do another one. Ready? Yeah. I shot an arrow into the air. I shot an arrow into the air. 
I shot an arrow into the air. Oh, wow, you've got quite the singing voice. It fell to the earth, I do not know where. It fell to the earth, I do not, I do not know where. <laughs> it fell to the earth, I do not know where. Very good. You guys are good at this. How about this? Hut, two, three, four, I breathe a song into the air. Hut, two, three, four, I breathe a song into the air. Hut, two, three, four, <laughs> I breathe a song into the air. And it fell to the earth, and I know not where. And it fell to the earth, and I know not where. It fell to the earth, and I do not know where. <laughs> Well, this was just a fun way for us to explore poetry in a fun way. Would you like to read that? Long, long after afterward, were afterward in the oak, I found an arrow still unbroke, and the song from beginning to end I found again. In the heart, heart of a friend. Yeah. So he found the broken arrow in an oak tree, but the song he sang into the air, he found in the heart of a friend. How about that? Very good. Yeah. All right. I like that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, you know, this was just a fun idea I thought we could do with poetry. And really, you can use this in any rhymes or whatever you... Um, find uh, storybooks or anything that sounds fun or even old songs you could sing together, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Lane has a good singing voice. So maybe next time Lane can teach us a, a little song that she's learned at school. Oh, what do you nice. think, Lane? Sure. Yeah. Well, listen, folks, thanks for joining us in this activity. We had a really, really fun time. And we'll be thinking of other activities that we can do. And please, join us next time when we bring our family together in fun ways. Bye-bye.